Well, we had a storm rumble through right around the early morning commute here in Lexington, and then we saw the sun out, and now we've hit the lunch hour, and we've got some additional showers firing up, and those clouds thickening back up again. A lot of the activity, and there's that lone shower, uh, some lightning with it, so a storm as you get up south of Paris that went through northern Fayette County. A lot of the activity throughout the late morning has been across northern Kentucky, north of I-64, so you see some stronger storms. Uh, running uh, pretty much just right along or to the north of uh, I-64 as you head east. We've got some additional shower development back towards Campbellsville. And the broad picture shows Wednesday that marginal risk for severe storms still in there, much like yesterday, but yesterday it was primarily into our southern counties. It's everywhere today. Some of the storms that fire up into the afternoon and early evening we'll have to watch out could put down some damaging wind gusts. But the, the overriding concern is just the same as it was yesterday, the heavy rain threat. There's some active flood advisories from heavy rain. Uh, Scott County running up into Harrison County there. And as well, we've got some back towards Owenton and eastern Kentucky. has got one running from uh, Sidersville, uh, Floyd County, northern Floyd County. Uh, just north of Prestonsburg there, and as you run out uh, towards uh, eastern Kentucky, you're still dealing with some heavy rain producing cells out there. So a flood watch still in effect, and we'll likely see this extended into tomorrow. Rainfall over the past 48 hours, you've got these pockets of uh, anywhere from radar estimated four to five inch totals, uh, especially out towards Floyd County. Uh, there you can see Prestonsburg and Martin, and then as you head out towards northern Pike County, they've had some torrential rainfall. These are just 24 hour rainfall totals from the Kentucky Mesonet. Look at Owenton, 2.3 inches and a lot of that came down through these uh, rounds this morning. Uh, we haven't seen as much here, but the future track is showing not only uh, some development, but potentially some additional development after these showers, thunder showers dive southeast uh, into this evening, uh, firing on the outflow from the storms that diminished earlier in the day. So we could have another round by late this evening and early tomorrow morning. These hits are just going to keep coming at us because we've got this front stalled out that will not go away. And we're in this stagnant pattern. So into Thursday morning, a break, and then into Thursday afternoon, yet another round of potentially heavier rain. Uh, so these numbers are adding up. I showed you how much we've seen already. We could throw another anywhere between roughly two to three inches of rain on top of this over the next couple of days, or even higher amounts if you have the same round coming through. So flooding, flash flooding, a huge concern for us until we finally break this pattern heading into the weekend. Uh, we're at 80 now. We'll likely get into the 80s for highs today, but then continue that cooling trend. Once we finally get a cold front through here and dry out a little bit, temperatures will come down a little into the upcoming weekend. But keep an eye out for today. The shower and storm threat as we break it down hour by hour, you can see it peaking into the early afternoon and then diminishing somewhat, never really entirely going away. I will likely have some around, but then starting to pop up again late this evening as that second wave that I was talking about tries to latch on and get rolling. So it's just going to be on and off again. Uh, it will be the, much the same into Thursday. You can see pretty much shower and storm chances on and off throughout the day tomorrow with highs in the low to mid 80s. Friday is the day where that front will finally get moving. So that means yet another day with a rain chance, showers and storms there. But uh, there's a brief reprieve. Saturday, the front clears the Commonwealth. will briefly dry out, make it to around 80 for the high, cool down below average highs. Uh, unfortunately, it does look like we'd have another boundary heading our way, which could ramp up the shower and storm chance late in the weekend into early next week.